Bui Health Insights, Whooshing Noises Inside Head. Welcome to Bui Health Insights, where we dive into common health topics and provide you with valuable information to help you understand your symptoms and make informed decisions. Today, we're discussing whooshing noises inside your head. You might describe this as a high-pitched sound, buzzing, or the sensation of wind rushing through your ears. This can be quite concerning, so let's explore some potential causes and what they might mean for your health. First, let's consider traumatic brain injury, often referred to as TBI or concussion. This can result from a hit to the head during sports, falls, or accidents. It's critical to recognize symptoms like a new kind of headache, irritability, changes in vision, or general numbness. If you've sustained a head injury and are experiencing these symptoms, it's an emergency and you should seek medical help immediately. Another possible cause of that whooshing sound could be temporomandibular joint dysfunction, also known as TMJ disorder. This condition involves long-term pain and discomfort in the jaw joint. Diagnosis involves a careful examination, and while the treatment can start with simple measures such as cold packs and stress reduction, more severe cases may require medication. The primary goal is to relieve discomfort without permanently altering the jaw or teeth. Next, there's pseudotumor cerebri, a somewhat misleading name as it's not an actual tumor, but a condition caused by a buildup of pressure inside your skull. It can lead to headaches and visual disturbances. If you're experiencing these symptoms, you should visit your primary care physician to discuss the best way to manage this condition. Meniere's disease is an inner ear disorder that can result in vertigo, a sensation of spinning, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, and sometimes a feeling of pressure in the ear or hearing loss. These symptoms typically affect only one ear and can be unpredictable. While there's no cure, treatments such as medication and hearing aids can help manage the symptoms. If you're experiencing a non-urgent form of tinnitus, say, a persistent ringing in the ears without other major symptoms like vertigo or severe pain, it's likely this is the cause. It's important to have hearing tests to assess the extent of any hearing loss and the best treatment options which often include hearing aids and sometimes managing underlying issues like high blood pressure. Labyrinthitis, an inner ear infection, can result not only in vertigo, but also nausea, vomiting, ear pain, and tinnitus. This condition generally follows a viral infection and can be resolved with rest, fluids, and over-the-counter pain relievers. However, if bacteria are at fault, you may need antibiotics. Lastly, a common and often overlooked cause of auditory disturbances could be as simple as earwax blockage. If the wax builds up enough to block your ear canal, this can result in decreased hearing and even that unsettling whistling or whooshing sound. Treatment is straightforward and available at many clinics, but avoid using cotton swabs or other objects in your ear as these can worsen the blockage or damage your eardrum. When should you seek medical care? If you are experiencing symptoms like severe dizziness, sudden hearing loss, extreme headaches, or if you've sustained a head injury, it's vital to consult with a healthcare professional as soon as possible. For conditions like Meniere's disease and pseudotumor cerebri, it's important to get a proper diagnosis and management plan. Remember that while this information can help guide you, it's not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized care tailored to your unique situation. Before we sign off, if you found this information helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful discussions on Bui Health Insights. Your health matters, and we're here to help you navigate it with confidence. Until next time, take care and be well.